sets, I'd say, in history. It was it was a great time. So let's get right in. And look who we have. We, we have, have two septile Septile names. dittos. This is crazy because, all right, I don't know if this is winner's side or if this is loser's side, but this, both of these guys made it to Worlds uh, by going through the Pokin qualifiers. They both won a Pokin qualifier. And these guys are in the same pool together, playing the same character. So here we go, Septile Ditto's on deck. TJ is the alternate color Septile. Bim is the green Septile. Okay, very nice counter. TJ working his way in with that Detect. Oh, Bim countering with Leaf Blade. That's gonna combo right into the Giga Drain. There goes that Giga Drain, getting those setups. What's he gonna do with the setups? Oh, gets bopped by the Leech Seed, getting those lunchtime combos in. Bim setting up his field phase. Oh, TJ just leafletting right through it, though. Gets anti aired for detecting in. And Bim might finish it right now with this combo. Just Always barely. living with one HP. Setting up the Whimsicott. Trying to keep TJ from setting up the field phase, and he does. Bim closing it out. Had a huge advantage. Just took his time and finished the round. Bim's playing really, really good today. But T I have faith in TJ as well. <laughs> All right, Bim winning the opening round, getting that uh, tipper leaf blade, and then getting a follow-up Giga Drain on the wake up. It's like, I'm, you Giga Drain me, no, I'm a Giga Drain you. He gets punished for doing a Giga Drain. Bim just keeps me in the corner, trying to keep those setups going. Yeah, Bim just has him stuck. He can't get out. He finally works his way out and catches him with a combo. There we go. Optimal combos, boys. Let's do it. Gets his own knockdown, but Sceptile has a very, very weak uh, response to counters, or response to uh, wake-up grabs. That was a great counter grab. He, just, he executed that very well. Moving back in, trying to put some pressure back on Bim. Doesn't want to get bopped. Mm. Very nice shot from TJ. Canceling that hang. He tries to throw out the Giga Drain, but Bim goes in the burst. TJ responding. TJ gets the field set up first. This is a good advantage for him. Bim trying to set up himself. These guys are just setting up back and forth. <laughs> set up after set up after set up. I like it. TJ throwing out the Leaf Blade. Oh, that was a really interesting interaction. He actually dropped out of the Dragon Breath combo there. We'll take it. Trying to move in with Hang. Gets punished and by the Leaf Blade and the Giga Drain. And Bim's going to win it off of timeout from that. Bim going up one game versus TJ. That is crazy. You know, I wasn't even actually watching the clock, I'll be honest. Septile pondering what he needs to do. I'm sure TJ is doing the same thing right now with these adjustments that he needs to make. So the only problem, I believe, is when playing mirror matches, especially against two high-level players like TJ and Bim, you kind of have to watch out for your own stuff. It's like if you, if you don't know how to punish yourself, you'll get punished by everything that goes on. And I feel like Bim's, Bim kind of sees exactly what TJ's doing, it, doing and punishes him for it every time. Yeah, that's definitely what it looks like. Bim seems to be much more familiar with the ditto. TJ, though, winning the opening field phase, gaining that meter advantage. Very nice combos, putting them on the wall, getting those septile setups. Oh, Bim switching the corner, and he's going to get a full combo off this. That was great. He put him, he went from being in the corner to putting him right in the corner. Setting back up field phase, got those traps out. TJ winning another phase. Oh, that was a very nice hang, setting up more combos. Fakes out the Giga Drain and gets punished by Giga Drain. <laughs> oh, and, wow. And even though Bim hasn't won a field phase yet, he's got full meter on deck. Bim is taking his time a lot. I, I feel like Bim is, Bim is not being as aggressive and it's working out for him. I feel like TJ's having to run in a lot because he's the one that's getting punished by a lot. TJ dropping his combo in order to set up for, oh no, he gets Dragon Breath. The counters, it hurts, it hurts so bad. Oh dear. 
All right, TJ does have Burst on deck now. Smart man going into Burst. Oh, and he gets punished by the Leaf Blade. He doesn't like that grab and gets to grab himself. And that should do it. Full animation. I love it. So, round, round two. Let's round, go. Round two. Bim trying, trying the hardest of reads. That two was, leaf blades in a row. That was a very clean jump over that leaf blade, pushing him back into the leech seed. Let's go. Lunchtime combos, boys. Let's go. Don't put him down. Beautiful. Sends him back into the wall, and we're back in field phase. And Bim's like, we're going back to duel. This is my phase. <laughs> oh. TJ working his way, and he's got a combo rolling again. Look at these adjustments that TJ has made. He is dominating right now. Oh, but Bim's got an answer for it. Getting that grab and sending him back in the field phase once again and gets another grab just clean. And now TJ's got the pressure on him. He's back in the corner, puts on his truth, but goes in the burst and bursts in response from Bim. What are we going to see next? Both players. Oh, Bim with a huge grab. This is going to be big. Putting on the damage with the Christmas tree. I love it. Both players bursting. Canceling each oh other out. Oh, my Bim gets the follow-up, though. Oh. And they're both on low HP. What's going to happen? Bim just attacks right through counter. Catches it's him while he's dropping it. Gets him. He's not. Bim is not done yet. Bim timed that perfectly to go right through the armor frames. That burst clash was so good. I loved it. TJ getting some early setups. Sending Bim back in the corner. Got him on the wall. Beautiful. Look at that damage. That defense debuff put in work that dual phase. So I just want to know what happened to Bim's HP bar. Like, it's just it's gone. It just disappeared. Beautiful counter. Setting up some more bullet seed. Oh, gets a punish and takes game two. Let's go, TJ. TJ I love it. showing up, responding, adapting, winning. Yo, TJ's like, I'm not a ghost no more. I'm back, and I'm ready to body y'all. <laughs> okay, okay. We got a little bit of a switch up here. What are we going to see next, I wonder? All right, so we're, uh, we're sticking with Sceptile, it looks Course. like. So, yeah, so TJ's, I feel like Bim's the one that backed out. Uh, I feel like Bim's the one that made a change. And Bim is definitely doing some thinking right now, um, and that's the best thing he can do um, because having this matchup tied, I mean, one of them's got to come out on top. And with Sceptiles, you've got to be very, very analytical. Watch out for what's going on. Yeah, Bim is uh, looking at the support screen right now. And I think, and like I said, I'm pretty sure he's doing that because he just wants to gather himself. He's like, what do I have to do to do what I did in game one? He wants to shut TJ out. He wants to keep going, and I don't blame him. That's what everybody's fighting for, the glory. That is, Bim is really taking his time. He is wondering right now. It looks like he, uh, he might be questioning what he should do in terms of maybe not only support, but maybe even character. Hmm. I actually don't know. I've actually never seen Bim play anybody other than Sceptile. He actually has a uh, Mewtwo that he's been working on. Really? Okay. Uh, some of the uh, the versus gaming weeklies, he's been breaking it out because he does feel like there's some matchups where Sceptile may not may struggle, and he's been working on the Mewtwo for those. Well, the thing that I say that I'll say about characters in regards to matchups and everything, I'm. And this might be adverse to a lot of, like, how everybody else thinks. But the way I feel about characters, I feel like if you have a mastery of your character, a matchup's not too big of a deal. I know that there are some things that people lose and some things people win. But it's kind of the reason that me, myself, I stick to Suicune because I want to be able to say, hey, I can take out any character in the roster with Suicune. But there's nothing wrong with having secondaries. Nothing wrong with that at all. If you feel like that'll help you in the matchup, go for it. Yeah, and that's a good mentality to have for the character that you're playing. If you do have the secondary online, though, it may be worth trying. It just really depends on if you're confident in it or not. And one thing that you don't want to be, and I'll tell people that have a secondary this, the one thing you don't want to be is jack of all trades, master of none. I'm sure a lot of you have heard that phrase before. Because if you're playing a bunch of characters, but you're not all that great at them, it's not going to help you. 
And Bim deciding to stick with it, staying out Sceptile, but going Eevee, winning the opening field phase, and winning the next dual phase, getting a grab. He has the reeves right now. Definitely trying to keep TJ back. Putting on some pressure, but TJ getting a nice combo in, sending them back in the duel. Oh, both players doing some detect things, but TJ's catches. Here we go, boys, putting on the pressure. I love it. I love it. That was a really interesting interaction. I think Bim had the read, but something strange happened with the way that the hitbox came down. Uh, detects out of uh, out of desperation there and gets grabbed for it. And Bim lets go of block and gets punished by the counter. Beautiful job from TJ, and he is now set to take this game. Bim trying to set up the field a bit. Gets a good whiff punish. A little bit out of range there. TJ Pun working his way in off of a crit jump Y. Okay, Bim putting back on some pressure. Gets the Izuna drop. I love it. Oh, and then catches him, but doesn't believe and doesn't follow through. Tries to reset him with the grab. Loses the face for it. Both players trying to leaf blade each other. The Bim's new leaf winning. blade is so beautiful. Setting up that Giga Drain. Bim trying to keep TJ in the corner. TJ getting punished. And the Izuna drop finish. And Bim saying, no, you do not have the reads on me. I'm making adjustments too. And we're going to last game, last round. This is not the end, my friends. Let's see what happens next. Okay, playing that clean field phase. TJ getting the Leaf Blade opener. Oh, TJ with the read. These field phases are not that important right now, except for in terms of stage positioning, because both players already have burst on deck. TJ getting a big stage advantage right now, has Bim towards the corner. I feel like the best thing to do with this is just put on, keep putting on pressure. And that's exactly what TJ's doing, going into those beautiful, beautiful lunchtime combos, putting on his truth. Oh, Bim with a great read. He's turning it around right now. Bim sending him back, sending TJ back into the corner. Catches him with the flash kick. TJ going into burst, smart move, getting that pressure off of him. Bim going into burst in response. TJ with the detect confirm into burst attack. The beautiful burst. I believe this is going to be it. He's got defense down. No, this is not. It scales off of detect. Oh, 25 HP. Oh, and but Ben doesn't guess right on wake up. Out. What amazing job from TJ. That was great. That was amazing play from both players. They both had a lot of great reads throughout the entire match. But TJ came out on top. He's like, I am the real Sceptile. TJ 